session this morning will be at the fending session going from one versus one to two versus two up to four versus four and then into a half field practice. We'll look at man-to-man -man defending, we'll also look at some zonal defending and we'll never get away from the principles of defending which is pressure, cover and balance. In our first phase practice for defending one versus one we've got 10 by 20 yard grids and opposite players at each end. The, the boys will take a touch out of their feet and serve the ball in and then defend their own end line. And stand still. So the first thing we need to look at with defending in a 1v1 situation, what's your first job? How about get there? How about put him under some pressure? Okay, so have the ball back again. We're asking the first defender now to close the space down immediately as fast as they possibly can. So we've established that the first defender must apply immediate pressure. Now we want to start to look at the angle of approach. So Matt, once, if I play the ball into the middle there, at what angle will you close him down? You have choices, don't you? So maybe what you can do, if you know something about your opponent, Maybe you can take your opponent onto their weaker foot. Invariably, we don't have a lot of that information. So which foot might you want to take him to, Matt? So Matt's strong foot as first defender, which is his left foot. So maybe he wants to take him in there. So he's tackling with his strong foot as opposed to his weaker foot. So let's see if you serve the ball in. Straight down the middle. Your angle of approach now is going to make William take the ball onto your left foot. So as we get in behind, we see the angle is a little bit different, taking the, the attacking player onto Matt's strong foot, which is his left foot. Matt's closing William down very quickly. He's decided he wants to take him onto his strong foot. Now I want you to uh, decide at some point where you might need to slow down so he can't beat you with his first or second touch. And stop there. So Matt has now established, just go back a yard, William. Matt has now established an angle of approach. He's established immediate pressure. And he's established a safe distance so that the attacking player, just come closer, Matt, can't beat him with one touch and then straight speed. So now we're going to take a little look at the, the body shape and the defensive posture. So as Matt comes in now, he wants to make sure that he gets a little bit side on. If he gets square and William takes the touch, Matt's first movement is to have to turn. And also if he's square, he's very vulnerable to the nutmeg, the ultimate embarrassment for any defender. So as he comes in, angle of approach, we're now going to get side on. And he wants to have a touch cue here. If I can touch the attacker, I'm often too close. So if I use my arm, I can stare straight along my arm. It gives me a visual cue. Now I'm side on and I'm actually ready, saying to the attacker, if you take the touch, I'm ready for the race. Okay, so when you come in, Matt, this time, in your angle of approach, I want you to get nice and side on. I want you to look down your arm to give you a, a visual cue and just hold your ground and be patient. So the first thing we're asking the defender to do is immediate pressure. The second thing is his angle of approach. Third is to slow down. And now the fourth is to delay. And obviously he went in and won the ball there. And stand still. Okay, so once he's now come into that area there, why did you decide to take him there? He took his first touch that way. Okay, he took his first touch that way. So do you want him to keep going towards the end of the grid? Okay, so now we're starting to talk about denying space or concentration of space. So once we get into this situation, make sure he cannot go that way with your body shape. Could you still go that way, Tony? Yeah. Okay, so fix it, Andriana. All right, so you're definitely inviting the attacker to go the way that you want him to go. Get there nice and quickly. When to slow down and stop there. Good. 
Now, once we've taken them into this side here and the attacker does manage to change space, it's very important now that when we change our body shape, we don't cross legs. Now we need to rotate onto the back foot and around so that we're maintaining our body shape, low center of gravity, and looking across along our arm so that we stay side on so we can't be nutmegged and we maintain our distance. So just dribble to the side. So as I come across, I'm skipping across, maintaining my distance and swiveling. Yep, speed it up. And I'm swiveling, looking down, staying side on and coming back this way. I'm delaying, I'm jockeying, I'm buying time for my second defender. Once more, Maddie. Make sure that you don't get too close. You can do that by using your arm. Good, a nice swivel, don't get too close. Your arm out. Don't get too close again, good. What are the ways that we could win the ball? Tackling them. Tackling them, all right. So tackling's one, okay, anything else? Faking them out. What do you mean by that, faking them out? They can lose the ball and take it. Maybe okay, so by applying pressure, you force a mistake. Okay, so we can force mistakes, they can dribble the ball out, they can give the ball to you in the end. And that happened a lot, didn't it? Even when you were just jockeying and delaying, there were people who were still giving you the ball because the tricks weren't working. Okay, any other way? Interception. Okay, so an interception. So, Marcus, if you come on the ball here, and I maintain my distance when I'm here and play the ball there, and I just step across, and that becomes an interception as opposed to a tackle. So now, what's the best quality of a defender? Any ideas? What were we just doing here? Delay, waiting for what? Waiting for the moment to win the ball. Okay, so the best quality a defender can have is patience. How many times have you seen impatient defenders come in and lose the opportunity to win the ball? So now, as you're dribbling, I want you to pick the moment to apply pressure, to force a mistake, to tackle, or to intercept. All right, off you go. And stop there, okay? There's a point there where he showed a little bit of disguise, and you were in here, and the moment you squared up, and he was about to go that way, that's the moment that you, you were squared up, okay? So from there, can you just rotate to there, as opposed to squaring up? All right, maintaining that body shape, good. Be patient, be patient. Good, there's your moment to win it and transition. Go on, get there and score. Well done. Nice and patient, Biggs. Good, and stop there. Okay, so in the moment of, go on, back you go. In that moment of transition, you've gone from being the attacker to the defender. At this point in time, are you too close? Yeah. So if you can't win the ball, you've got to make a decision. If I can't win it straight away, I've now got to put myself into the body shape to delay, arm and your body posture. Okay, look like a player. All right, so as we go now, now you've got to transition from attacker to defender and decide, can I win it or do I need to delay? All right, Biggs, you ready? And play. Good, and you forced a mistake. Well done. And stand still. Stand still. Okay, well done, Biggs. You forced him into a moment where now... Come on the ball. Forced him into a moment where, in order for him to protect the ball, where did he turn his body shape? Okay, so the moment he turns backwards, look like a player, get your foot off it. Are you going to spin it with that foot or this foot? All right, so spin it then. Up, look like a player, stop there. Okay, so once we get into this position, if you go body up on him and you feel me here, which way will you go? Okay, so he's going to roll out of the challenge. So in order to let him know, you can still do this, but you're not giving him a clue as to which way he needs to go. So he's tight enough, so I've gone from face me again, 
I've gone from in here maintaining my distance, electing to, to try and make a challenge, forcing him to protect the ball. So now I want to get a little closer to put him under that pressure because I don't want to allow him to face me again. That's a more dangerous position. Okay, so back again. And now here's the key. Here's the key. If he takes the ball with the inside of this foot and spins this way, that's a tackling moment for me because he's turning into me and he doesn't know where I can be. Yeah. Take it again. Now I want you to take it with the outside of your foot. That's different. I can't tackle now. Just, just stay there again. Take the touch. Outside of your foot. Stop there. What's between the ball and me? His body. Yeah. Okay, so that's not necessarily a good tackling moment for me. So now I want to get back into a position where I'm ready for him to spin, take his second touch, that's a tackle moment. So we're now looking at the outside of the foot and the inside of the foot as different moments to make the challenge. And stop there. Did you feel him? You know where he was? Okay, so you need to start to use this. All right, you're, you're defending like this. All right, you're nice and close, but he doesn't know where you are. Now you're giving him a clue that you're there, right? So you can defend like this, and you might force him to go one way or the other, but you're not overcommitting. And it's delay, delay, good. Be patient again. Good, and you force.